Welcome. Before we start, you must know, first, we are going to skip the bookish theory. We will learn through examples. So, hardcore programming. Alex works at a shop. He adds 15% tax to every purchase, then gives 10% discount. We will write a very very simple program to help him. Whatever we do in C, we do using a function. A function is a group of statement that together perform a task. To start, we need to include the header files. This header files has basic functions like function to read inputs, function to show output and this kind of stuff. So you can say these are built-in functions. stdio.h has standard input output functions. So you must include it in every program. Every C program has at least one function that is the main function. You can't do anything without a function. You may have more than one function. We will study that later. Let's focus on main function. Now whatever we input we, we have to store them in memory by assigning it to a variable. You may take anything like a digit, character, file, string, anything you need a variable to keep it into. Today we will take digits as inputs, integer and decimal. Say price of the product is integer means whole number. We declare an integer variable where we will keep the price of the product. So how to declare it? int int then the name of the variable and then semicolon to end the line. Then I take float type variable means it stores decimals. Now tax can be decimal, final price can be decimal. Next is printf functions. We use to print something. Printf then inside braces, within quotes we write whatever we want to print. Like here we are saying to enter the price of the product. After that I use slash n. This means new line. So whenever the compiler finds this, the cursor will move to new line. So after printing this message, the cursor will move to new line. Scanf, this function takes input and store it in a variable. Person D, integer type variable, ampersand price. This means whatever we get as input, we are storing it inside the price variable. Ampersand means address. Now we calculate tax. That is whatever price we get after adding the tax. So that price would be price plus 15% of the price extra, which is the tax. So price plus 0.15 into price equals to means assigning operator it means we are assigning a value of something onto something whatever the value we get after calculating this expression that is price plus 0 0.15 into price the value would be assigned onto the variable tax this that's how assignment operator works now alex has to give 10 percent discount we reduce 10 percent from the value we got so tax minus 10% of tax that is 0 0.1 into tax so we get the final price now we have to print the final price again printf but we don't know the value of final price so we put percent %f in place of the final price we put the variable name outside the quote this means the value of the variable would be printed here in place of percent %f if it were a integer type variable we would give person d and we would put the name of the integer type variable we want to print outside the code now get ch look i give price of the item i get the final price after adding the tax and giving the discount if i hadn't used get ch the program would have terminated as soon as it had completed the task but you put get ch means get character so the program will wait for you to enter a character after that it will exit so you have enough time to see the result so printf to print something scanf to take inputs we need to declare every variable 
we are going to use in the program means we can't use any variable other than the variable we have declared declare every variable properly if you are taking file declare a file type variable if you are taking integer as input declare integer type variable that is int if you are taking decimal as input declare float type variable or you can also use double for character you can use character type variable char declaration is the first thing you do inside any function you can use any name as variables name but don't use any functions name as variable name like scanf printf get ch don't use these names now comment below which part you didn't understand and i will help you for sure c is not that huge but its application surely is so communicate with me join forums and communities like stack overflow and now look at the description there is a challenge for you solve the problem and post the solution good luck